welcome to my first ever YouTube video. It's gonna be a unedited day in my life vlog. And by that, I mean it's gonna be an unedited tutorial on how to do mo boards. Um, when I was trying to learn these for NN310 or advanced navigation, I thought it would benefit me if there was some kind of video, but there's nothing on the internet. So yeah, here goes nothing. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work. I'm actually filming this on my phone upside down and the tripod is a Yahtzee box and a copy of Brave New World and a tape dispenser. So I hope, oh, and I also just dropped my compass. So it's not ideal, but hopefully it gets the point across. So the first one is gonna be a multi-leg stationing. It's gonna be the first installment of my Moboard series. And it's from in-class exercise situation five. So it says San Diego is ordered into formation with the MKI which is the guide. The guide is the same thing as the reference ship, just keep that in mind. So the, the first thing that's different about this type of moboard is that usually your ship is in the center, but in this case, the guide ship is in the center. So it gives you a true course and true speed. So of 15 knots and course 060 zero, zero, true. So you're gonna take your compass and put it on 15 on the five to one scale. Oh, this is so busted. Yeah, okay. And then you're gonna, uh, true bearings are on the outside of the circle. So course zero, six, zero is here. And you're gonna take it from the center. And you're gonna mark, you're gonna mark that on zero, six, zero. And you're gonna draw a line from the center to that point. And that is R and that is E. This is pretty sloppy, but it's just for like a point. And then the next thing you're gonna do, it gives you the information, the guide, so this is the guide, bears 200 zero, zero true from San Diego, which is us, at a range of 18,000 yards. So what this means is that from your position, when you look at the ship, when you look at E, you see 200 zero, zero true. So what that means is you need to find 200 zero, zero true, and you're on the opposite side of it, because when you're looking at the ship, you see this course. So you're gonna take the reciprocal of it, which is zero, two, zero. Oh my God, the tripod's in the way, okay. Um, and you are at a range of 18,000 yards. So we're gonna use the two to one distance scale. So we're gonna go to the concentric circle with the nine on it. And you're gonna mark that here. And that's M1. And then you're gonna go to, it says at 0830 San Diego, which is your ship, is ordered to take station 090 relative from the guide at a range of 8,000 yards. What that means is you're gonna go back to the guide's course and you're gonna find 90 degrees 090 relative. So relative is always to starboard. So it's always to starboard. Um, so you're on course 060. So when you go 90 degrees to starboard, you get course 150, yeah, yeah, okay. And that's where you are, you're on this course, or sorry, M, your next position will be on this course. And it's at a range of 8,000 yards. So you're gonna go to the fourth concentric circle and mark it on that point. And you're not gonna label it M2, but you're gonna label it M3. And that's because there's another position M2 that you haven't found yet, that's what we're trying to find. So then it gives you that you are to come no closer than 4,000 yards while passing astern of the guide. So what that means is you're gonna draw, like you always wanna keep 4,000 yards between E and your course. So you're gonna draw, to make that easy, easier to see at least, you can draw a dashed circle at the range that you need to keep from the guide. So in this case, it's 4,000 yards. And because we're on the two to one distance scale, it's going to be on the second concentric circle. That's your safety safety net. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take M1. Sorry, this is kind of annoying. You're going to take M1 and make it uh, make a line tangent to that circle that you just made, the dashed one. And you're going to draw it. You're going to draw it all the way down here. And do the same thing with M3. So you're gonna take it, make a tangent to the circle. 
And this intersection point is gonna be your M2. So the first question is going to ask you, what is your course number one to station? So that is the course from M1 to M2. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the line that you drew and you're gonna slide it so it's parallel, but it's at the end of the ER vector. And on this vector, you're going from M1 to M2. So you're going this way. So you're gonna draw the line in that same direction. It's not really parallel. There we go. Same direction, like that. And then you are given information that you're using a stationing speed of 20 knots. So you're gonna take your compass and you're gonna measure out 20 knots on the five to one scale. And you're gonna take that from E and along that line that you just made, so along this one, you're gonna mark a point. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna go from E to that new point, or that new intersection, I should say. You draw a line. And this is important, you're gonna mark the bearing on the circle because that's like the piece of information that you really want. So uh, we can label this M. So this bearing, which is one nine, about 192 relative, I'm sorry, 192 true, not relative. Course 192 true, that is your course number one to station. Okay, then the next question asks, what is the bearing and range to guide at M2 in degrees true? So what that means is, it's kind of like before, that when you are at M2 and you're looking at the guide, so when you're looking at E from here, what bearing do you see? It's not from E to M, it's M to E. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler and your line up M2 and E, and if you're going this way, you're gonna mark what you see. So that gives us about 075 true, perfect. Um, that is your bearing to the guide at M2. The next part, it asks you for the range. So the range is the distance. So what you can do is you can take your compass, measure the distance, or measure from E to M2. Get that, and then you can use it to find the distance. And you have to use the same distance scale that you've been using the whole time. So this is about 5,800 yards because we're on the two to one scale. So the range to the guide at M2 is 5,800 yards. And the next part of the question, so we did that for the first leg, and then you have to do it from M2 to M3. So what you do is you take your ruler, do the same thing again, but just for the different, different leg. So you take M2 to M3, you slide it so it's parallel to the end of the, what's the step on? No. Sorry, and you slide it so it's parallel the end of the ER vector. And the same thing as before, your M2 is over here and M3 is over here, so you're going this way. So you draw the line this way. And there's your parallel. And then you take your compass at the same stationing speed of 20 knots. You measure it out on the five to one scale, 20 knots. And then you take your compass with 20 knots with E and you mark where it intersects that new parallel line. And then you can, uh, you wanna do the same thing as before. So you wanna draw a line that goes through E in that new intersection point. And you wanna label this and you can label that. You can also label that M. Um, okay, and this bearing is course number two to station. So I got 081, the textbook answer is 080 true, but I got 081 true, and that's that's fine, it's within two degrees. So that's your course number two to station is, is that is that EM from the second triangle. And then the last question that will be asked is the time to station. So that means how long does it take you to get from M1 to M3? So once you, like, how long does that take you? So what you need to do is, um, measure the MRM from M1 to M2. Mm, sorry, 
Pretty good. Okay. One to M2. Let's put it in a circle. Okay, so. Uh, it doesn't, it's bigger than the circle, so what I did is I just moved it back. And it goes, and we're on a two to one scale still, so that's 18,000 yards plus uh, 4,000 yards. So it's gonna be 22,000 yards. And we can plot that on our nomogram right here. And then we, uh, our SRM is gonna be from where is it? Our, our first speed triangle, which is this one. Do you see it? It's that one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, the when you use your compass and you measure from R to M, like the point that you made on that line, that is your SRM. So you're gonna take that, you're gonna put it on the five to one scale, and I get about 30, almost 33 knots. No, sorry, almost 32 knots. 32 knots, so you're gonna mark it on the nomogram. Where is that? Right here. And then you're gonna connect the two with the ruler. You might be careful at this point because, yeah, okay. So I got about 19 minutes for to get from M1 to M2. Then we gotta do the same thing one more time. We need to take the MRM from M2 to M3 because we need to figure out how long it takes us to get from M2 to M3. And so that is, um, this is 10,000 yards, this is 11,000 yards. So we have uh, 11,000 is right here. And then we take our SRM. So we go to the speed triangle that we created from this line. So we can slide it up. So this right here is the speed triangle that we created from M2 to M3. And so we take distance from R to the M on that triangle that we created, and that is gonna be our SRM. We put that on the five to one scale, you get eight and a half knots. So you put eight and a half on the speed scale, or on the bottom of the nomogram, and then you have your 11,000 and you connect them and we get, sorry, this is a little scratch line. You get 40 minutes. So the total time is um, 19 or 20, you can use your judgment, from M1 to M2 plus 40 minutes from M2 to M3. So, that's for, I'm gonna say that's a total of 60 minutes. Um, so that means that if we leave, if this is 0830, which is given in the problem, then it takes us 20 minutes to get to M2 and 40 minutes to get to M3 for a total of 60 minutes. So the time station is 60 minutes after M1. So it would make it 0930. The textbook answer is 0932, but we're within two minutes, so that's fine. It's just because I wasn't being that precise with this, but yeah. Um, so that's how you do a multi-leg stationing mobile board problem. Make sure to um, subscribe and smash that like button.